possible they could see them in a major competition without even leaving their home city. David, has the news of the uh, Euro 2028 coming here, I suppose, enhanced the, the idea that we need to give the players the best opportunity to get to qualify for that tournament? Whatever facilities need to be built, need to be built quickly. Uh, I, I think, again, like most things in Northern Ireland, it can be complicated. Uh, the decision to, to take it to Casement Park is fine. And again, you know, Casement Park probably uh, should have already been built, of course. Uh, for the, the difficulties around that, I'm not privy to, and I don't really know the details of that. But when you go into the detail of the Casement redevelopment, the amount of money that's gonna, that, that it's going to cost, um, but again, with my selfish hat on, looking looking at it from an Irish League point of view, the Irish League clubs were promised in 2011 uh, funding, uh, regional funding. It hasn't come, it hasn't been forthcoming. In 2015, again, we were all promised, this is coming, this is on its way. And eight years later, we're, we're still all waiting. So looking at it like that from a selfish point of view, if the stadium is going to be built, fine. But again, make sure the uh, make sure the Irish clubs are... Uh, Graham, see an ideal world. All the games we've played here at Windsor Park. Yeah. The Northern Ireland fans, ex-players, would love to play here in 2028. Of course we would. It doesn't meet the criteria. So what do we do? Do we just say, well, no, we're not going to take part. We'll allow the other home nations to enjoy their cities being visited and crowds coming in and people speaking about it in the eyes of the world on it. Or do you just wait? Do you know what? There's an alternative. There's another option for us. So our players can play in front of the Northern Ireland fans, potentially, because there's no guarantee <laughs> we're going to get there. Of course. But if it was me being selfish, I'd say, absolutely, I want to play there. So the eyes now switch on to the Northern Ireland executive who have promised the stadium. They've said, yes, we'll build the stadium for you. So the eyes are on them. And if they don't fulfill that, then it's going to be an embarrassment. So the pressure will come on Northern Ireland. So they're almost being forced to build it. And we need that to move forward. We'd love to be there, part of it.